Hi, I'm Aaron Santiso, physical therapist and member of the medical advisory board here at Orange Theory Fitness. If you've ever had pain in your lower back, hips, knees, ankle or feet, it could be a result of what's called lower crossed syndrome. This problem is a result of excessive hours we spend in our daily lives sitting. It's okay, we all do it. But these poor habits follow us into the gym, creating a poor workout movement pattern, leading to pain and discomfort within our body. Let's take a look at what's involved in this and how we can correct it with a simple exercise that you can do at home. Here we have Caitlin to help demonstrate. Lower cross syndrome is characterized by a pelvis tilt, a bend in the hip, a bend in the knee, and an increased curve in the lower back. Now let's get Caitlin into a more appropriate posture and what we see happen is the exact opposite effect of the body. The hips rotate back, the spine aligns, the lower curve straightens, the hips and the knees align underneath the pelvis. This posture is ideal in preventing muscle, tendon and ligament injuries. One key exercise that we can do at home to maintain proper posture is called the open clam exercise. You can perform this exercise at home, office or studio on the floor and here we will demonstrate how to execute this exercise properly. While lying on your side, it's very important to first support the neck and head into a neutral alignment. You can use your hand as Caitlin has here or you can provide yourself with a couple pillows. The second step is to grab your just above your hips with your opposite arm and this will prevent you from rolling your body so that you can maintain proper technique during the exercise. Your knees are bent and your feet are on top of each other. You are now ready to perform the exercise. To perform this exercise, lift your top knee into the air. Be careful not to rotate your body too far back, lower and repeat. This exercise targets the glute medius muscle, a very important muscle in maintaining lower back, pelvis, hip and knee stability within your body. You can perform four sets of 25 to 30 repetitions, two to three times per week. This is also a great exercise to perform whether or not you have lower cross syndrome, just so you can maintain proper stability in the body for the future. Thanks for watching and until next time, remember, more exercising, more life.